Alright, this week I'm keeping up with the Pokemon theme and I'm unboxing three of Pokemon Animos from the Super Smash Brothers. There we got Jigglypuff, Pikachu of course, and Greninja. Alright, now I'm just going to start from the left to the right. If I can get my camera out of the position. Alright. This one I probably should feel them right in the camera really well. Um, I apologize if the light is a little off. I'm testing something to get a better one. Alright, here we are, Jigglypuff. As you can see in the back right here, it's Jigglypuff level, can level up to level 50, like always. And here's beating up Mario. <laughs> Alright. And of course, this Jigglypuff was the exclusive one, I believe, on Target. I'm gonna need this one. Alright. Gotta be careful. Well, it is cold this time of the year, so. Oh, cool. It has something extra to keep it moving around. Nice. And I almost forgot about this. You know, a little stain, basically. Ooh, let's lower the camera. There we go. We got Jigglypuff. Eyes. They look like stickers, but no, they're painted. Mouth painted, nothing like that. Nice. Jigglypuff doesn't have that much details. Ah, oh, you can see right here. There's two pieces mold. Well, three, I guess, if you count the clear part right here. So, yeah, that weather kind of makes it a little st out of the way. So, if you look at it down like that, no. Does look good. Pokemon in Nintendo CR. Oh, I guess because the Pokemon is a Third developer, or no, my second developer for Nintendo. Yeah, usually it doesn't say nothing in the bottom. Alright, here we got Jigglypuff. So, now we got Pikachu. Back. Right here you can see Bowser and Samus. Yeah, Pikachu beating him up, like always. And let's. Open one of these. Careful, I think the tail can be breaking easily on this one. And there we go. Alright. Pikachu. Better standing straight up. And as you can see with the tail, it's a male Pikachu, it doesn't have that little curve right there. Yeah. And detail on the color and the you know starts dark brown and then gets all yellow. These the Pokemons don't have that much detail. And like also like Jigglypuff in the bottom, you can tell it's a two-piece molded together. Although it kind of sits up like that. <laughs> oh, cute. Little guy, they got every little detail, but pretty hard to go wrong with him. Now, Grid Ninja has a lot more detail. In the back right here, let's be speeding up little Mac. Someone come out. Come out. <coughs> come back. There we go. And there we go. Alright, Greninja has a whole lot more details. If 
I hold it like this, bit on there. All right, I can see he has these parts in his elbows and shoulders and neat. And of course, as long as ears. And this is his tongue. Little flexible, but you might not want to keep bending the arms. Front arms a lot flexible. And he has two stands. Not like most characters just have one. Eh, nice. Clear too. I like it better when they're clear. Eyes. Nice. Well, I thought this video was going to last a little longer. And of course, of course, there's Pokemon and Nintendo on the bottom. Yep. And an Nemo, of course. Alright. There you go. Unboxing Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and Green Ninja. Alright. Short video, I guess. I'll see if I can unbox the next week. The last set of Pokemon. It's supposed to be only six. Can't remember, did I box any more Pokemons? Yeah, I boxed a couple, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, well, if you like this video, so you like to subscribe. Yeah, you know, you, look at the, you know the drill, right? See you guys next week. Oh, and before I forget, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. You know, <laughs> yeah, if I had a turkey that had Pokemon up, I would unbox that one. Uh, do they? Is there? There's like, what? 700, 900 Pokemon now? There's no turkey one? I gotta check on that, actually. Maybe there is one. Mm. Alright, bye.